Good morning, Z. Morning, Mr. Z. How are you today? I'm good. You're not cold? No, I'm not cold. It's freezing cold. So why do you have on a jacket? Because I'm cold. Make sure you put your seatbelt on. Okay, I forgot. I'm gonna put my I'll put my seatbelt on right now. Can't wait, it's the first day. Can't wait, Mr. Z. Good morning, Big Z family. What's going on? It's your boy Big Z coming back to y'all with another video. So today I'm in a different truck. I'm not in my truck. And this truck, I'm gonna have to put fuel inside of it. And um, something that I like to preach, you know, to all the drivers is, especially if you work for a company, even if you don't work for a company and you, you OTR, is always stop and before you leave the terminal or the yard or wherever you are always stop and put fuel inside of your truck because you never know what you would run into like today i went up in the mountains and i didn't know i was really going in the mountains it's a good thing that I stop and fill up the truck because like I always tell y'all, like it's been times like I didn't, I thought I okay, I'd be okay on a half a tank. And then when I get to the stop, I hope you guys enjoy the nice scenery of the mountains. You won't believe what happened just now, but I finally made it to the stop and I can't deliver it right now because the customer isn't, they don't have a contact and now I don't have any service. So, you know, <laughs> this is like weird right now. So I basically have to remember the way I came in, which I always, I have a good memory, so that won't be a problem. But um, I'm going now to head back down so I could try and get some kind of service so I can go to my next stop because there's no way. There's no way for me to deliver this freight. So, y'all stay tuned. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. just now right i'll stop right there um 
That remind me of my U.S. food days, man. And breaking down a pallet. We don't normally do that at FedEx. Like, I can't really say that I like I break down pallets a lot because we really don't. That's the first time, like, maybe the first time I ever broke down a pallet in uh, at FedEx. But you know, sometimes we gotta get physical. But you know, it's a nice, good workout. Um, I needed that exercise, but overall it was good. It was quick. It wasn't that much boxes. I put it on the hand truck. I haven't used my hand truck in a long time, so you know, it was pretty good. But y'all stay tuned. My baby, my Valentine. Can I get the Mickey with the Purple if you leave me a good time, I swear You are like the oxygen I need to survive I'll be honest My love ain't be thought of in me I am so obsessed I want to chop your own cover Good morning guys So, just waking up I got a long day ahead of me Um, I have a few things that I have to do today Need to get cleaned up. Um, as y'all can see, I spent yesterday loosening up my hair. That normally takes forever. Sometimes I think about cutting it, but then again, I'd be like, you know, I'll be cutting my growth, so I don't want to cut it. But um, yeah, I gotta go and wash my hair right now. It's looking crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of hair, man. Lord of hair of mine for what I've been growing my hair maybe like two years now so I'm about to wash my hair probably clean up myself a little bit and um probably get to it see what else I have to do check my reminders and um try to get some things done today so y'all make sure y'all stay tuned y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and let's get it <laughs> So I just finished washing my hair right now guys. Now I'm about to blow dry it, I'm about to get it braided up. Oh man, it's like a full time job. Hey, the bitch they hate and you can't miss what you know. Hey, hey, off the juice, coding got me tripping. So I'm done with blow drying my hair now. It's all dry. Um I don't want y'all to say your boy ain't putting y'all on because I'm putting y'all on. As far as like for my beard, what I do for my beard is I normally, I wash my beard every time I take a shower. I hope, I hope y'all be washing y'all beard when y'all take a shower because us, us as truck drivers, we be sweating a lot. So it's a must that you wash your beard every time you take a shower. So I normally put like, um, like wild growth, hair growth oil. Like I can put like, let me see. Uh, focus, focus, focus. Okay, so this is what I normally put. Ah, uh, this is what I normally put in my beard. Sometimes I put it in my hair, you know, but mostly my beard. And this really helps grow your hair really good and far. My lady, she don't like my beard, you know, looking all puffy and you know, all crazy and stuff. So she like it a little groom, a little trim down. So I always make sure I keep it trimmed down a little bit. Like, you know, like this like medium height right now. But every time I take a shower, I normally, you know, pick it out with a pick. Pick up under there, you know, and then, and then I always just put a dab of this, just a little bit, put that on. And then we go back to picking it out. And it keeps the beard nice and nice and shiny um i see some people talk about the smell um of the hair growth oil but i like it it's pretty good for me you know i don't have a problem with the smell but um this is what i normally do i normally this is my routine before i go to work or uh, whenever i take a shower before bed i always shampoo my beard put the wild growth on and i'm good right now like it's looking nice and healthy and for my hair, I just leave it clean. I, I leave it with nothing inside of it. So when I go and get it braided, um, 
they will put like they will put like wild growth hair oil inside of it when they finish or uh, they will put like um you know some kind of moisturizer for my scalp and stuff like that that's what i normally um normally use just like that your boy hair is done man done man Boy, done, man. Little something, little something. Looking nice. Yeah. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Just know that it get better over time. Oh man, I think I probably wonder like, do you really eat all of that food? That's how we normally eat. That's how I normally eat when I go out. You know, that's why I gotta hit the gym, y'all. I'm right now. I'm like, I probably like maybe 200 right now. You know, when you go out with the farm, you, know, you gotta eat. You know, but um, I don't know. For some reason today felt a little warm and um i had on some little shorts you know thinking i'm in florida but i came out of the restaurant and it's freezing cold <laughs> so my little leg is freezing So um, right now I'm taking a lunch break. I got I got some Pizza Hut, man. Let me show y'all what I got. I feel like eating pizza. I don't know why, but um, I said let me stop and just take lunch and get some Pizza Hut. So you know, I got some got some barbecue wings. And then I got a personal pan pizza. So, I'm about to go in on this pizza right quick. <laughs> I'm about to go in on this pizza. Let's see how it tastes. I never had a personal pan pizza before. It seems like, this feels like, like a pizza that I would give to my, my kids. But, um, yeah. This is what I'm going to have right now. This is what I'm about to eat. Mm. Eating this kind of food probably going to make me sleepy. skills to the test.
this what you know I Just now, guys. Oh man, <laughs> felt like I was in the gym. <laughs> oh. got a little crunked up a little bit. You know, work a little muscle a little bit. <laughs> uh, but right now, guys, I think that's gonna be it for today. Um, I'm done with all my pickups. Done with all my deliveries. So most likely, I don't think they're gonna send any more pickups right now. Um, so y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all make sure to share this video with your friends and your families. Let them see what it is that a FedEx freight delivery driver does. You know, you guys get a little bit of behind the scenes. And um, so y'all make sure y'all sit down and y'all bench watch all of my videos. You know, I really appreciate it. I, I appreciate each and every one of you guys that show love, you know, that show a lot of appreciation to what we do out there as truckers, as local truckers. Cause you know, local truckers, um, I feel as though local trucking is harder than probably OTR because like, when it comes to the driving, it's like, you know, OTR drivers, they most of the time just like bump docks, you know, and they be having, like, most of the times they have a lot of room to back up with us LTL and local truckers, not only LTL, but local food service, like the beverages, like people that does like Coca-Cola and those, you know, they go in some, some pretty tight spots. Cause I used to do um, like food service, so, you know, they go in tight spots too. So local guys, you know, you have to show love to the local guys because the driving skills that they got to, you know, they got to put in. The skills that it takes to drive local is no joke. You know, I appreciate all the love and support from each and every one of you guys. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace. Good morning, Big Z family. Good morning, Big Z family. It's your boy, Big Z, coming back to y'all with another video. And, um... You know, today, the weather is nice right now, man. It feels like, it feels like I'm in Florida. <laughs> feels like I'm in Florida, guys. Oh, that feels nice, man. The winter is about to be over. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm so happy, man. I'm happy, guys. I'm so happy. This weather is so nice right now. Um, so, we check the fuel. The fuel level is good on this truck. But that's something that you always want to check too. Make sure you got fuel. Make sure you got depth. And, yeah, man. I only got a couple stops, man. Listen, this truck makes a lot of noise. What's going on? What's going on, buddy? What's going on? Come on. Okay, now we good, guys. So, I did a thorough pre-trip, I check everything. Check my tires, my lights, you know. Everything's good. My um, my registration in the tractor is, is, is up to date. And that's something that you always wanna check too. Like you always wanna check the registration, you know, make sure that um, the hazmat is inside of the vehicle, inside of the truck. Make sure, you know, the, the VIN number matches because sometimes you walk inside some trucks and you know, sometimes the paperwork might not be, you know, the paperwork might not be in the right truck. Like it's been times, like I hop inside some trucks. It's been times I hop inside um, some trucks and it didn't even have registration. But FedEx, they always on point when it comes to that. So that's something good. But um, yeah, man, make sure you guys do your pre-trip, man, before y'all hit the road. Cause at the end of the day, you know, it's always, it's always you that's gonna be at fault because you didn't do your pre-trip. It won't be nobody else but yourself. So make sure you do the right thing. And um, yeah, man, y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. I'm in a straight truck today. I'm not in my truck today. You know, even though I like being in the tractor trailer, I don't really like driving the straight truck, man. I don't know, it's just something but the straight truck, it don't make me feel like a truck driver. <laughs> it don't make me feel like a truck driver, but um, 
Yeah, man. Y'all make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man. Listen, y'all make sure y'all like the video to show some kind of appreciation, man. Like, I really would appreciate if you guys would just hit the like button. That means a lot. Like, comment, say what's up, you know? Like, let's, let's talk, man. Like, how's y'all day going? What company y'all working for? You know, how, you know, let me know what's going on. But, um, I'm about to get to this, do this paperwork and hit the road, man. Let's go. Don't wanna be a one.